Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, today we've got another micro scrapping excursion. Today we're going to be taking apart a RV electric lift jack. My name is Bob and this is Gill Skills and stay tuned for some awesomeness. Whoopsh. All right guys, for those of you that have been around for a while, you know what to do. But for those of you that are new to the channel, please feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. It would mean a lot to the YouTube algorithm and, of course, my YouTube channel. Thank you. All right. First comes first. We got three screws here. I'm going to go ahead and take this off. This is a leveler. So basically, you know, if you've got an RV or a camper, this, this here is an electronic lift jack. So if you want to lift the front of the RV so that you can put, you know, hook it to your truck or whatever, you can do it with a flick of a button instead of cranking it and doing it manually. With that being said, this one no longer works. So we're gonna take it apart and see what inner goodness is inside. Now, obviously, we've got a great deal of steel. That much is certain. We've got some wires and I'm sure we've got a motor in there as well, but we're not gonna know for sure until we dive in. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take off these three screws here, which is for this a leveler. So we're gonna do that real quick. got some plastic pieces here. Jeez, I don't even see a bubble in there anymore. That must have broke. Oh well. I'll start a plastic pile over here and we'll put these screws in here. It appears there's some foam in there so I'll take that out. Put that with the junk and that's just plastic right there. I'm gonna flip this over here. And that's two more screws. There's two right here. Two bigger screws. So I'm gonna try to get those out. Big screws, big, big screws. All right, let's see if we can get this off. Oh, oh, there's another hidden screw right there. Darn hidden screws, hidden screws. There we go, there's another one. Let's see if there's any more. Looks like the wires are all connected up on in there. All right, those switches. I'll see if I can pull those out real quick. all come out now or not oh there's one more I gotta cut there we go so we got the switches in there I'm gonna try to get the switches out we've got some brass connectors in there too we get a little bit of wire that I left on there so I want to get those out the rest should be plastic This is some tough plastic. Plastic. Let's take a look and see what we got here. We got, this is probably the motor right here, guys. We've got two bolts. We've also got some screws right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and get out. Pieces of wire that's connected to the light. 
So this is gonna be some sort of switch, I would imagine. Very magnetic. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and continue getting that all disassembled. Okay, so we got this light here. Take that light out. And it looks like there's a little board in there too that I might wanna save for later. Got two more screws, might as well separate the plastic. All right, more plastic. I'm pretty sure this is magnetic. Oh yeah. So, so we get metal there. So this, uh, this looks like an aluminum housing, which is interesting. This bolt here, I don't know if we loosen this bolt and this releases the shaft underneath, but I am going to try to get it out. So said. let's see if we can do it. I'm gonna try to loosen it. Let's see if we can. Okay, so I don't know if we can. Okay, I see. It's, it's turning that motor. All right, well, no big deal. We'll set this aside and we'll just continue taking this apart as uh, as we can. Hopefully we can get these pieces off and this motor off and we get more wire here as well. Let me go ahead and get that quick. Well, the motor came out. So that's where all the copper is. I don't see too much copper in here. Looks like there's magnets on the outside of the steel wall. There is a little bit of copper in there, but not much. Majority of the copper is right here. We're doing great, guys. We're doing great. Uh, looks like we got some sort of cotter pin here that might have to come off at some point. I'm gonna see if I can get this off. I'll flip that for you here. Let's see. We'll take these nuts out. Okay. So we got the nut there. And then we get that. Do the other side now. Okay, there we go. All right, let's see what we got here. Yeah, that cotter pin needs to come out. So I wanna see if I can turn that and get it facing north, south, or east, west, depending on how you, <laughs> how you wanna look at it there. And uh, if I can get it turning just right. Oh yeah, that's not a problem. I'm gonna try to hammer that cotter pin out. Hmm, I don't know how well that's gonna go. Let's see if I can hammer it out this way. Wow, that pin does not want to come out, does it? Maybe I just need to face it the other way. See if I can face it the other way and let it come out that way, All right? All right, I'm gonna put this in the vise, try to get that pot cotter pin out. I got that cotter pin out there. It just, the power of the vise. It's not Miami Vice, it's Maine Vice. Um, completely different program, okay? Just, just for the record. Let's see if I can get that off now. Oh, got a washer there. All right, so there's that. Now everything in here is steel, and it's oily steel, as you can see. It's just a screw bar. <laughs> get a screw bar. <laughs> uh, anyway, I cracked myself up. So this is nothing but steel. There's nothing else in here but that steel. So we're going to leave that. So that leaves us with this little gem. And it's sealed with six Allen screws. Let me grab the appropriate Allen screw slash wrench to get those off so that we can try to get that out. I 
think that's all the screws that we're holding it in. Let's see if we can separate it. Ooh. We got we got this gluey gooey ooey mess uh, with all sorts of uh, steel gears and stuff. Let's see if we can get the the windings out and the ooey gooey. God, let's see if we can get uh, let's get rid of that ooey gooey if we can. I'll use one of the plastic pieces to try to shovel some of that crap out. No God! Uh, no God! Please oh, no! 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 Oh, okay. Oh, I got a little bit on me still. Brock. We're making headway here. We're making some headway to figure this out. All right, well, that was pretty straightforward. We get that piece out. Now, I wonder if some, if some of these internal mechanisms are brass. Nope. <laughs> Not at all. They are very, very ferrous. So This here might be a little interesting in trying to get off. Let's take this gasket off. Is it like a gasket to keep that ooey gooey crap in there? Ugh. I don't know how this is going to work. I don't know if that's going to just come out or not. Oh, I see. I see. It's held in there with a little pin. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that pin could be removed. I'm going to remove that. Yeah, yes! I just don't want to come out. I'm going to put this in the vise so it's easier for me to get that pin out. I will be right back. All right, so I was able to get that off. Let's see if I can get it completely out of there now. Finally. There we go. She's out. Nice. Oh my God, there's a second one in there. <laughs> there's a second one in there. Son of a Okay, well, I'll grab that second one as well. I'm gonna put this in the vise though, so I can grab it. Be right back. I gotta get that pin out of there, and then I should be able to get this bar out of there, hopefully. There we go. Get that out. I think I see what's going on here. I'm gonna take this shaft off of this shaft. <laughs> I'm gonna do that on the vise. I'll be right back. All right, I was able to successfully get that out. There we go. We've got some steel rings that are in here that needs to come out. I definitely want to clean this up because this is a decent amount of aluminum. It's going to be more vice work, I think. I guess I could bring you over there so I can show you what I'm going to be doing. I'll see if I can find a good spot for you. That should be just fine. I've got one piece that I need to hammer out from this side. I can do it. Oh, okay. I think we got two different stages here. Okay, fine. I'll get these first. There's one. There's two. So I got those out. Rubber gaskets. Rubber gaskets. Rubber, 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 rubber. Now these are strange because I thought that they would have to come out this way. I don't know, this is kind of telling me another story here. Let's see if I can get it out. Just broke, broke my screwdriver. Perfect, wonderful.
All right, I got one more piece of aluminum that I'm going to clean up, and I'm gonna clean up real quick. Okay, so I just uh, drilled a little bit and then uh, used the hole punch to, to get that out. Well, that goes in with the metal. This is now clean aluminum. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, this is what we have for the final bounty for the RV jack lift, as in the electric jack lift. Uh, first and foremost, we've definitely got a decent amount of steel here, as you can plainly see. We've got the uh, plastic and rubber and junk right here. We've got some more metal here, as you can plainly see. We've got all the cogs and wheels and ferrous items and screws and all that fun stuff right there. We've got some wire right there, as you can plainly see. We've got some tidbits here that have some brass pieces on it that I will refine a little bit later on. Uh, the motor was kind of surprising. We, I mean, we've got some copper in this motor, but it's all in these windings here that I will try to get out at a later time. And then the inner core of that transformer is just the magnets. And then uh, we've got the aluminum here, as you can plainly see. We've got the clean aluminum, decent amount of aluminum too. It's fairly heavy, thick, chunky, monkey aluminum, just the way I like it. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen, for the electric jack lift for an RV or camper. If you like what you've seen here, please feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until the next time, have a scrap happy day. Bye now.